So on the admin side, I mentioned that um, uh, admins sort of have a corresponding page for each of the uh, partner visible pages. Um, so that's in the sort of like admins only section up here. And uh, first off is onboarding new partners. So once we've talked with a partner and they've, they've signed our partnerships agreements, the first step is to bring, uh, is to onboard them into the portal. And this is the one step in the process that's manual. So adding a partner is pretty straightforward. Um, we add the company details. Uh, we also link them to Salesforce by including a Salesforce account ID. We um, uh, add the, the PDF of the contact of the contract here, the, the partner agreement. This gets uh, stored in, in retail file storage as well, which is uh, another new feature that we've launched recently. And then we also just invite the first user as well. So what, what that allows us to do is just send that first uh, email invitation to, to the user to join the portal. Um, once they get that email invitation, they'll be able to create an account in the portal and invite their team and submit leads as well. Uh, moving on, we have like sort of corresponding pages for each of the others. Maybe I'll show one or two others. Um, the other one that's interesting is the sort of lead referral page. So this allows us to review uh, leads that our partners have submitted, um, the details about those leads. Um, so maybe like the problem that they're solving, um, the link that we have automatically created with our Salesforce integration, uh, more details about who's uh, the contact at the company that has been submitted by our partner. And then um, if it meets the terms of our agreement, we can go in and approve this lead. Um, we can also automatically generate an email that gets sent out to the partner um, if it turns out that it doesn't meet the terms of our agreement, then we can reject the lead as well. And we can sort of uh, assign a rejection reason. This is great categorization for us, for our metrics as well, to understand like why we're rejecting leads. We can also add more details for internal purposes to say like, you know, maybe we want to say like this lead was already submitted. Uh, and then we can also send that email to the partner as well. So they have a record of, um, uh, of the, the lead being approved or rejected in their systems as well. Uh, fun fact, we're also using a uh, retail email service to send these emails too. And then the last sort of um, partner, uh, sorry, sorry, the last sort of admin view I wanted to showcase is our stats page. So because all the data is living in retail DB, it makes it very quick and easy to build out some metrics to track our KPIs. So the metrics might look a little strange here because this is sort of staging data, um, but it does allow us to track how many leads have been submitted over time, how many partners we've onboarded, and then um, how many uh, users those part are represented by each of those partner companies and how many courses they've taken in our, our courses integration. So this is a great way for our partnerships team to report out to the rest of the company and to our staff team about traction that we're seeing within the partner program. Um, and it's great to, to see this build over time. Uh, last quarter was a, a record for us in terms of uh, generating new revenue from our partnerships function and our reseller uh, motion here. And we actually uh, achieved greater than uh, six figures of revenue um, uh, generated by our partner ecosystem. So that was a, a milestone for us to achieve last quarter.